Right, ladies uh, and gents, I'm just going to show you how to do some background funky paper. And this is what I've done. Really, really colourful background funky paper. And what you're going to need is... Um, I'm just getting some... Wipe these bottles because I don't want to. You need uh, photographic paper, just a piece of photographic paper. Gloss. Alcohol inks and a straw and all you do is you drop a little bit of ink it doesn't seem to be coming out of here and blow it like that so it dries really really quickly as you know let me just wipe this I don't like the nozzle on this one for some reason it's dripping and it shouldn't just blow it see if you can blow it into the center it spreads out You make a noise as well. <laughs> fun, fun. <laughs> My grandson's just been in and done one. <sighs> wow, like that. <sighs> right, that's all I'm going to do with that bit. I'm just going to wipe the nozzles. I don't like the way they, this one seems to leak for some reason. Right, now what I'm going to use, I think, is the caramel. We'll use the caramel one. And go in an area where you've not... Uh, sorry, have you been watching that? Did I show it? Oh, God. You pour it on. You Well, put a little blob on and then you blow down the straw. But blow it in the centre and it goes all over. Okay. It doesn't matter if it runs into each other because you are giving... Um, it's making more colour and um, making the texture great in the background. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. You only need one drop. Excellent. Wow. Like that. I'll put another one there. Yeah, love that. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the, oh, let's see, um, I'll put a bit of blue in it. What's that blue? Is that blue? No, silver, don't want to do that. This one's the stream, but it's whatever colour suits you. One blob. Wow, love that, look at that. Now, let's have a look. A bit more there. And then I'm going to have a bit in this corner. Like that. Love that. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to wipe this. Now, what I'm going to do is, because um, you've got your colours now, right? But I'm going to stamp mine. And I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got the uh, stairs on ink, so this will have to do, but it will dry. Now, I might, I might emboss this, actually. I never thought of that. I wonder if it'll emboss. Now, you don't just want to plonk your stamp in the middle or anything like that. You need it on and off the page. So, I'm just going to do one stamp there. you like this, ladies. Told you if I had the right equipment, you can um, create all sorts. So, hopefully, you'll like doing these sort of things. Because I have lots and lots and lots and lots of ideas. Lots of them. I like my stamps there on and off the page. I mean, this is just as good as buying the paper. You make your own, depending on your project. And turn mine around and do that. Let me see where I need to put one. Have a wing coming off here. Oops, lost my stamp. There we go. Go back on, silly old. And um, so it's done it again. Ha! Stay on, silly old. Right. I'm just going to pop a wing there. Let me just do that again. Right. 
maybe my stamp needs cleaning but as you can see you've got that effect now with your butterflies on or whatever you want to put on yours it's stunning i love these absolutely love these now what i'm going to do next is just take the distress ink the walnut stain and just where it's a little bit white on the corners is just distress it anywhere there just on the edges and corners it just gives it a slightly I'm going to be careful doing this because I don't want to rub it off Oops, see if we can get that in the middle anywhere where it's whitish just to give it an aged look and there you go absolutely gorgeous paper gloss paper not sure if you can see that clearly let me just try isn't that fabulous I mean it all depends on what colour scheme you're after but you need just one drop of alcohol ink with a, and just blow it with a straw um, and then print your picture on it, stamp your picture on and then edge it and look what you get. Stunning, stunning paper. I've just done a couple of more beforehand. I use the darker colours on this one, still using the butterfly stamp. I haven't stamped on this one yet. It's just using the technique, finding the colour. I did put gold in that one. I thought I had another one. Oh, no. No. So, um, there you go. Hope you like them. I do. Thanks for watching. See you shortly with something else. You know me. I'll come back with more. Bye, ladies. Thanks for dropping in.